Use code kick on G Fuel. Use code kick on G Fuel. Use code kick on G Fuel to save twenty percent off. Yes, that is correct. My G Fuel discount code, Cold CAC CAC, is no longer at ten percent off. It is now permanently boosted from 10% off to 20% off. It'll then be boosted a further 10% to 30% off for certain products and stuff like that. But now, whenever you use cold cack on G Fuel on checkout, you will save 20% off at least across the board. Hello everyone and welcome to the video back on the PS5 as usual for these updates because the free update for the next Xenoverse 2 DLC DLC 15, the Hero of Justice Pack 1, the free part of it, is now out. You can go and download it right now. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't actually look like there's much, if at all, new in this free update. We've got, like, what, eight minutes left. I will, in a moment, just wait or cut until we have it downloaded. In the meantime, do me a favor. If you are watching this, you may not actually be subscribed to the channel. So with that said, please do go and subscribe to the channel as about 50% of you, give or take, are not actually subscribed. Whoa. It's almost as if I've edited this comment, uh, this comment, this uh, screenshot here. So you can actually uh, leave a comment to correct me that, oh, it doesn't add up to 100%. Wow, that's actually crazy. No, but again, in all seriousness, if you're if you're watching this, you might not be subscribed, so please do subscribe. We'll check out the patch notes because I have already read them, um, and there is something that I do want to mention, which is actually something I'm really happy that they've done. And we'll then take a quick look at the free part of the next Xenoverse 2 update. So again, with that said, one moment. Okay, and once it's installed, there you go. Rather nice. So. Again, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's that much if... I mean, there's, there's a few things, but there's not too many, like, too many things added in the free update. Now, naturally, tomorrow, which will be the 10th, we'll get the paid part, like the new characters, parallel quests, and stuff like that. But there's been things that have been data mined, which I will go over in a little bit in this video. But first, let's look at the patch notes. Officially, at least on the PS4, PS5, it's been referred to as version 1.33. But when we get into the game on the total menu, it might say 1.8 or something. I forget what it will be. Version 1.33 notes. Added data for Hero of Justice Pack 1. Not a surprise there. Added new lineup for the capsule machines, the new figurines for the Hero Coliseum, if you're into that. Congratulations, I will probably not cover that in this video. Rebalanced battle mechanic, mechanic, uh, uh, mechan why can't I read that? Mechanics, yeah, there you go, that word. It's, it's still fairly early, give me a break. So that basically means, uh, you know, just skills being nerfed, patched, fixed, uh, buffed, what have you. Also, let me know in the comments, has there ever been a free update to a paid DLC in Xenoverse 2? that hasn't changed some of the skills. Like, I think, like going back to DLC 14 there, yeah, rebalanced battle mechanics, uh, rebalanced, yeah, it's, it's all right there. Like, going back to at least Legendary Pack 2. Just the drop rate for raid quests, I'll go over in a moment. That's what I'm happy for here. And it made other improvements slash adjustments. Oh, yes. So the adjusted drop rates for raid quests, I am going to assume that's for the partner customization keys, which it's been data mined already. There's no new data. Uh, there's no new partner keys in this update, unfortunately. Will it be more in a smaller update in the future or in DLC 16, the Hero of Justice Pack 2? Maybe, I hope so, but we'll have to wait and see. It looks like there's not going to be any more keys in this update, the Hero of Justice Pack 1, DLC 15, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Now, I ho again, I'll start the game in a moment, but I do want to explain the, re uh, the uh, what is it? Adjusted the drop rates for the raid quests. So basically how it worked before is that there's always a 30% chance to get a partner customization key when you clear a raid, but that's, well, just listen to what I said there. It's a chance to get a key, not to get a new key. So you could, in theory, do a million raids and still uh, and still only need to get one more key because when you clear them, at least how it used to work, you would 
have a 30% chance to get a key, but then it wasn't always a key that you didn't have. So you could keep doing it. If you needed one more key, you could do it for like a, a thousand more times and still not get the key because you could get like, I guess, shadow rolled the previous keys, but naturally because it's a key item, once you got it unlocked, it, it's not going to come up again to say, oh, you've unlocked it again. Because again, it's a key item. You only get one of them per account or have you. So I'm hoping that's been patched now so that in future raids, you will be able to just like the drop rates have been increased or it's been fixed. So it's always a 30% chance to get a new key rather than a key that you already have, if that makes sense. But with that said, let's now start Zeniverse 2 on the PS5 version and see what's new, if anything. I don't believe the servers are actually up right now because they get taken down for like maintenance or for the update to drop. And they'll probably be up in, well, by the time this video is uploaded, it may be back up, I don't know. Oh, okay, so you can see there, again, access to add-ons. That's um, interesting because the DLC isn't available to purchase yet. So unless that's something to do, to do with Dragon Ball The Breakers, which I will also start momentarily in this video, I'm not going to do any missions. We're just going there and talk to Cold Robo, see if there's anything new to be given out or have you. But you can see there, the drag serve. Um, so those aren't available yet, blah, blah, blah. Bottom right, version 1.19.0. Oh, that's new. That, is it new? I don't believe that's, I don't believe that's the, uh, no, no. Again, so it's one of these things that I see that this, this menu so often that I just, it just blends in. Now it's like, it's all muscle memory when I start it, multi lobby, single lobby, what have you. I'm fairly certain the PlayStation Store and I'm guessing on Xbox, it'll be the Xbox Live Store, what have you. This option wasn't here before. It was just start game and options. Now, again, because the servers are not online right now, as, as of this recording, by the time the video is uploaded, they may be online. But as of this recording, they're not online. The other things like the Dragon Ball The Breakers promotion thing is not available. So let's just take a quick look here to see if there's anything new because I don't know why I got access to add-ons. I've got everything, even like the music pack. Yeah, you can see I've got everything purchased here and there's nothing available right now for me to actually get. So that's a little bit, that, that is new. I mean, it doesn't make, it's not a big surprise. It's just, again, quick look at stuff that is new in the update. Okay, let's now load in to Conton City. Hey, Vegeta! Please do the fusion dance with me. Okay, loading in now. Yep, yeah, no pop-up or anything to say. Oh, new update or what have you. The first thing I do want to do is I want to see if I can ac actually access the TP Metal Store. Nice okay, I can, and there's nothing new here. Now again, there's going to be new uh, dual ultimates, which I think are available right now. And there will be, I think maybe some new Super Souls, but also certainly be new artwork. Okay, quite a lot of, the, of um, new artwork actually. So let's go out to the bag and let's just look at the skills to see if there's anything. Hold on, any new, no, okay, no new Walkins. Ah, okay, I was, I was kind of holding out a little bit of hope. Okay, so we got here, as we knew in the trailer, five new dual ultimates. Those are the dual times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha, the dual warp Kamehameha, which is fair play, the dual super black Kamehameha. Now that's the super black Kamehameha, not the super black Kamehameha rolls out. That's already in the game, I believe at least. The dual revenge boo, yeah, also unofficially <laughs> known as the dual revenge death ball and dual prominence flash. These will be available via the TP Metal Store over the next few weeks, presumably, again, as of this upload. I have every other skill unlocked. I just want to see if there's any new skills added here. No, there's not, okay. So the other skills from like the paid parallel quest will be available tomorrow as of this upload. And actually, uh, let me just go and check the artwork as well to see if there's anything new. Ad okay, so yeah. Uh, okay, no new special artwork slots there. You can just see here, I think they said in total, like what, 76 or 77 new artworks added. Yeah, from D DLC quests, TP Metal Store, online events. Well, well, there's actually quite a few from the TP Metal Store that will be available again over the next few weeks, few months. And event reward, stuff like that. Okay, raid event, okay. Yeah, um, actually with that said as well, as well, let me go and check the equipment to see if Anything from Breakers has been added? No, nothing yet, I don't believe. 
I do wonder what the access to add-on meant because... Yeah, that was weird. That was, that was really weird, that was. Like, I know, it means, basically, oh, you get access to, like, the new DLC, but I don't even have that purchase right now because it's not available to be purchased. So, on some characters here, it says unlock all because, well, yeah, you can see there, the dual Super Black Kamehameha and the four other new dual ultimates. Now, again, if you're watching this, do subscribe to the channel. Later on today, I think I'm going to have either one or two more videos uploaded after this. One of them, which I think will be the next video, will be every dual ultimate attack in the game. No commentary, there'll be timestamps. It'll be all of them. I've got it almost done already, actually. I just need to wait for these to come out. So that'll be the next video, and I think I'll have an updated video of how to unlock every character. Because, again, it doesn't look like there's going to be any more partner customization keys. Is there any new Super Souls? Probably not. I don't... Be well, there is new Super Souls, and I will go over them in a moment. But there's no new ones for your mentor, I don't believe. Maybe with the exception of Gohan. Actually, with that said, adult Gohan, do let me check momentarily. Yeah, there's no new option there. Okay, so yeah, f uh, five new dual ultimate attacks uh, added to the game, which not really a surprise. I do wonder if there's going to ever be more dual ultimates because there's no new partner customization keys right now. And they just check for myself where are they important items yeah uh customization key unlock 20 i've got it unlocked so yeah unfortunately no new keys unlocked this time presumably meaning also in the next dlc there won't be any more dual ultimates yeah i mean honestly i'm not gonna lie i mean i know it's only been what just over four months since the last dlc the content uh, city vault winners and this has really been uploaded, well, been posted like this DLC because, you know, to capitalize on the hype of Dragon Ball Super Superhero releasing. But man, I mean, no, no new keys. Like, uh, you know, I mean, it's whatever, but it's like, it does. So I wouldn't say rushed, but I don't know. It's weird. But with that said, there's been quite a few things data mined, like the Super Soul, some new artwork, uh, some new tournaments as well. I will go over those in a moment, but I do want to talk to Oolong here for a moment. Uh, chat, let's go, let's go chat to here. Actually, can, can I do it here? Okay, I can't even do what I was going to do. Um, <laughs> normally, if you talk to Oolong, you can actually go and start breakers. I'm going to start breakers. I'll be there for like 30 seconds max, because again, I want to see if there's anything new there or any sort of pop-up that you get or any sort of rewards or a data link. Then we'll go back into Xenoverse 2. We'll take a look at the data mine stuff and then we'll take it from there. So that said, let's start Dragon Ball The Breakers. Okay, and let's go. So there's not been any update to Dragon Ball The Breakers, at least as of right now. Actually, with that said, side note, when does season one end? I want Grey Tape Vegeta to do it, I really do. Where is, uh, how long is it gonna be? Uh, <laughs> oh, in 70 days, dude. That's like two and a half months, man. They need to do, I just bought the season pass, all the dragon tears or whatever it is. That's where this outfit's from. Looks rather nice. So I just wanted to jump into breakers here to talk to the mailbox robot. Yeah, there's nothing new to get here. So yeah, with that said, nothing new in breakers as of right now. Let's go back into Xenoverse 2, shall we? Yes, that's shall. Actually, I did say I wasn't going to go into the Hero Coliseum or Bob Ruby. I think the last time I did it in... The Canton City Vault update, once you entered it for the first time, there's like a little pop to say, oh look, new figurines, isn't that nice? Let's just see if that's here, if not, I'll leave it and we will go over what's been data mined so far, wait for it, there you go, you got this little thing here. 42 new figures have been added to the normal and special capsule machine, in machine driver, McCoyne's, include, it's not even funny, including superhero, including Superhero and Defender of Justice Gamma 1. Sorry, it's a bit weird to read that then. And the Ragefield Gohan, in parentheses, DBS, Superhero, in parentheses, exclamation mark. Oh, yes. Gather these new heroes and stand against evil. Gamma 1, I don't know what any of this means. Gamma 1 is invincible using non-ultimate attacks. Doesn't that sound a, a bit broken? Um, if he's up against someone with a 5,000 plus attack, use that ability to dodge a powerful blow and deliver sweet justice. The <laughs> call me Topo. The, uh, that's basically Gamma One's job. Gohan ignores the opponent's defense when attacking, and his isn't that like Jiren, like the Jiren figurine, and his attack and speed goes up 
uh, each time a figure is placed and its poison skill is activated. Keep placing figures to raise the attack and speed. Gohan's Rage is the new key to protecting those he lives. Oh, my name's Gohan from Dragon Ball Super. There are loads of other figurines you can get uh, for your decks, and that's not all. Some older figurines have been given an EX limit breaks as well, and certain god help bent on annihilating humanity. What's that even mean? All new figurines are now available in... Okay, that, yeah, okay. Do you know what? If you... I, I, I got the trophies for the Hero Coliseum. I did a video on it, like, what, two or three years ago. You can go watch it if you want or what have you. Is this good? Because <laughs> I genuinely do not know. But if this is good, then do you know what? Fair play. Like, absolutely fair play indeed. Okay, and let me go and read out, and it'll be on the screen, the new Super Souls that will be available, I believe, as part of the paid update. There's eight of them in total, I believe. Shout out to Reachel. I'll leave his Twitter in the description. We'll be lost without him, in all fairness. So the first one is Gamma 1 Super Soul. When a battle begins, it temporarily forces all enemies to, or, to lock onto you, to target you, and it gives you an XXL increase to, you, to your boost attack strength and reduces DM, damage taken, and it gives you a large boost to your stamina recovery speed, and the limit burst is super armor. Second Super Soul is also a Gamma 1 Super Soul. When you perfect block, it temporarily reduces strength of all of the opponent's attacks and temporarily increases damage taken from all attacks. The limit burst is auto just guard, auto perfect blocks. Next Super Soul is a Gamma 2 Super Soul. And only once when your stamina is broken, when your guard's broken, when you're recovering from a guard break, it gives you an... Well, it's a bit weird what this says here. When you are recovering from a guard break, only once, I believe, it gives you... So I, I, don't, I don't know what this one is. This isn't anything that Rechild's posted. This is all data mined. <laughs> Let me try this again. Only one... Oh, you know what? I'm going to read it verbatim for what it says. Gamma 2 Super Soul. Only once only when guard is broken, recovers from guard break. Oh, okay. Does that mean that when you get your stamina broken once, it automatically recharges instantly, maybe. Once when the opponent uses an ultimate attack, it gives you an extra, extra large increase to your stamina recovery. Limit burst is auto health and stamina recovery. Another Gamma 2 Super Soul. When an enemy is knocked out, boosts the amount of key restored by amount of opponents KO'd, medium, can be stacked up to 10 times. So that's going to be like one of the Gaddick Gun Super Souls or the like, Attack Increase Super Souls or what have you. So the Super Attack ones you can increase. Limit Burst is Attack Increase, well, Attack Auto Recovery and Key Recovery and all that good stuff. Next Super Soul is a Gohan DBS Superhero Super Soul. Extends on Guard Time Break by a medium amount. When succeeding at a just guard, a perfect block, it gives you a medium boost to all attacks and can be stacked up to 10 times. Limit burst is auto just guard. A Krillin Super Soul, because sure, wait, it's me, Krillin, from Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z and GT and Dragon Ball. And various specials, only once when you're using a flash revive, all allies and self, or I guess, oh, sorry, all allies and self temporarily enter health auto recovery mode i feel like that's gonna be fairly pointless even in raids auto health and stamina recovery for the limit burst a hercule super soul only once when locked onto an enemy temporarily weakens strength of all opponent's attacks and temporarily reduces amount of opponent's key restored both by a medium amount limit burst is attack up and key recovery and the final super soul is who is this you cures are? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, only once when hit with a heavy smash, it reduces the opponent's key by an extra, extra large amount. And limit burst is naturally, well, I say naturally, like as if, of course, is super armor. <laughs> yeah, so again, that's pretty much everything from the free update. Now, there are some artwork and i'll probably end the video just showing those with some music or something because they do look some of them look really 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 cool and i actually can't wait to get them genuinely gonna have fun getting those unlocked for the new pedal quests when they become available in the tp metal store etc 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 okay uh, yeah so honestly a fairly underwhelming free update 
there's nothing new here. It's just new dual ultimates, a bit of a hero costume update, and like what? And the new, well, the, the superstars are a paid update, I believe. But that's pretty much it, unfortunately. Now, will new things come out after this video is uploaded? Maybe, maybe not. As of right now, we just don't know. But yeah, uh, also, DLC 16, if it's going to be another four months, then that will be out in like what? February, late February, March, early April 2023, maybe. Again, third time I think in the video I've said it. Subscribe if you haven't already, as I will be covering all of that and more once we have more information. If they do any more content on City TV broadcasts, which normally would be here, because I'm in the, the uh, single lobby, we cannot see the content City TV, unfortunately. Which is a shame because if we could, we'd also be able to possibly see more of the uh, new artworks that have been added to Xenoverse 2. So yeah, yeah. With that said, I don't know if I would have if I'm showing them already or if I'm going to show them now. Uh, but yeah, artwork on the new artwork is now on the screen. All that good stuff. Again, final time. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have fun with this, with this update and the paid stuff once it comes out. There should be maybe a new raid starting later today, if not today, tomorrow. Again, we'll just have to wait and see. More content coming immediately, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and the update, and I'll see you rather soon.